One of these days, I'm going to step out of this house, look up to the sky and see sunshine. But until then, it's grey and miserable and we're getting at it. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. My name is Tom and I film every single weekday of my life and post it on the internet for your faces. Now for the last six weeks, I've been obsessed with buying boxes, but also getting rid of my man boobs. Because I woke up one day and said, you know what? I want to see change in my life. So I signed up to the gym with a personal trainer and six weeks in, I'm seeing some results. But I want more. And for the first time since I started these sessions, I'm early. Look at the shock in that face. You're like, early for once. How you doing? Let's go with it. That was a finisher. I'm going to be sore tomorrow and today and the day after the day after. Wow. Another session. Smashed out the park and I tell you what, I feel like my arms are going to fall off. But wait, there's more. I've got to get all of these all the way up there and into there. Just another day in the life of Tom. It's a good job of the see-through. I can see where I'm going. And I've got to come back for the phone. I really don't think something's through. But howdy ha, home. I have one thing to do as soon as I get into this house, and that is say hello to my little boy. Hey, dude. Good morning. Hello there. <laughs> that is an absolute mood. Look at him. He's just woken up and he's like, Dad, what is going on? Good morning, Alfred. Good morning. Oh, and a quick outfit change, eh? Oh, suits you, sir. I forgot you're going on a play date with your friends and going swimming. Ooh. <laughs> he's like, Dad, I'm, I'm, I've just woke up. Goodbye now. Have a great time. I love you. <laughs> what a woman. Um, she accidentally overslept. So within the space of four minutes, she managed to get up, get dressed. I got him ready and she's headed out the house to go to a swim class. Just what a woman. So I am indeed home alone. I've received a parcel of something I've been waiting for. It's a set of USB to USB-C adapters. Oh, I bought two of them, not knowing that you get two of them already in just one box. And to spice things up, I've just realized I didn't need USB to USB-C. I needed USB-C to USB. And I have four of them. Well, they'll come in handy one day. So I'm just an idiot. <sighs> Protein shaker time. I have my milk squeezed from the teat of a nut. And we shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. And now we scape, scape, scape. What am I doing? I cannot get addicted to this game and try and have productive vlogs in my life. Oh my goodness, mate. I don't know why. I'm kind of back playing it again. Let's not talk about it. And let's just hope it's a phase. Total days playing time, 113. <laughs> One hour later, I've had my gaming fix and I'm stepping away from the computer. Hello there, Kevin. How are you doing today? Oh, you're climbing on the phone. Okay, yeah, no, it. Oh, this is happening. I'm slowly being invaded. Hello, mate. Nice to see you. Yes, I'm trying to um, moisturize your tank. Having a nice day? Oh, you're looking absolutely stunning. Let me guess. You want to go on the head? Yeah, okay. There we go. This is Kevin. Chameleons like to go to the highest point they possibly can. <laughs> Look at this. Go on then. Oh, let me finish your tank. Back in you go. Go on. Off you get. Off you pop. Job done and dusted. But I can't say the same for up here. And hey, up. Oh, there's a Ghostbuster in my garden. Otherwise known as a company called Green Thumb, even though he's wearing red and basically walks around the garden, which you cannot see anything of, and sprays it to get rid of any like weeds and stop moss growing in. So then in summer, the garden's going to look like Wimbledon. But where were we with this? Right, we need to get all this Lego out of this cardboard box. Why it's in this, I don't know, but I luckily have this spare box to put something to assess it. And oh my gosh! What a sound! What a sound! Look at that. A, a 
childish nostalgia hit and then some. Come on. How is there still stuff stuck in it? Oh! Oh, you know you love Lego if you have these. I've also found a Ewok, hey oh, and a Tasmanian Devil. It's definitely not Lego, but um, look at that. Retro toy. When I played with Lego, everything had to become a gun. These were missiles that I could fire. This recording camera had a rocket launcher on the top of it. And if I actually just pull out these two figurines, this cowboy had a pistol in his hand. And also, the Star Wars figurine had a blaster, which also doubled up as a flamethrower. I was the kid that when growing up, every stick was a weapon. And would you look at that? As a child, I basically had really useful boxes back then and I just picked up this train and was like, oh, it's in pretty good nick. I'm gonna have a look if it's worth anything. On screen now, 160 quid. Oh, oh and someone's trying to break into me. Oh, there's too many of them. Look at this. It's the, it's the mum's on tour. The mum's on tour. How was swimming? Really good. Come in, come in, come in. Are they all asleep? No way. That's goals. It's the Silver Cross Squadron. I was just about to chuck this on my massive cardboard pile and realised it's gone. Wherever you are, Andy, whatever you're doing, I love you and I appreciate you. Time to get all this in the Beast from the East and take it down to the charity shop. But I've also had a phone call from my sister saying, Tom, I've got a task for you. And I'm like, ooh, I'll do like a good task. And it's to go and collect my mum um, a birthday cake. Now, first of all, I'm not really eating cake, but uh, listen, if it's a celebration, surely it's, surely it's fine for me to have a little bit. I should probably be having none. And then the second problem is I have no idea what cake my mum would want. I should probably know because I'm a son, but what if I get the wrong cake and she hates it and I ruin the entire night? Like, what if I get carrot cake and she hates carrots? What am I talking about? No one likes carrot cake. It's either chocolate or vanilla all day, every day. And if you disagree, come at me. Collection for Tom. And I can confirm the back of this Defender still smells like socks. But we've got the goods. Let's go. I love being able to listen to music in my car. I'm just an idiot. <sighs> Hello again, Hyde. Kind of got a feeling these charity shops are going to tell me to go away, but I've got some good stuff in there. They'll definitely shift these Minecraft sets. And I reckon I can do it. I'm going to attempt to take it in one go. Mm. Till next time. <laughs> Great success. Now to collect a cake. And if anyone could tell me why I parked all the way over there and the entrance is over there, that'd be great. Ooh, I'm also going to get a five and a nine because my mum is indeed 50. I was gonna get the rainbow fountain, but um, I don't really want to set off the restaurant's fire alarm. So I'll leave that. Now for the cake. Aisle 17 cakes. Oh, no way. They've literally got a half and half of my favorite cake. I'm going for it. Yes, and wait a minute. Serves 22. There's six of us. Well, when in Rome, she'll love it. And now we hike back to my car all the way in the back. Let's just say I'm trying to counteract the calories. Man, it's not even two o'clock yet. So I'm wondering if I've got time today to pull off what I've been wanting to do all week. But first we need clearance on the cake from Alissimo at Syndicate Original. Wait, what are you doing here? I thought you were on holiday. Oh, be bloody mum's in there. I, she... I did not spot that car. I thought you were on a spa break holiday or something. Bloody hell, what are you doing back already? Hey! Alice, I need you. I need a meeting with Alissimo. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Now, I couldn't decide on chocolate or vanilla, so I got a half and a half. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty smart. Yeah, so that thing, yeah. green light. Do you want it or am I taking it? Do you want to take it? I'll take it. Great success. We've actually decided that Alice should take the cake because who's most likely to forget it? You're going to leave it in the wrong car. Like, you're that unreliable. That's how, that's how bad you are. She, she's not wrong, so it's going in there and staying in there. So, how did the Valentine's Day go? You can't stay long because you're going to distract us. And we've Why? Got so much work. Why? Mum's going on holiday on Monday. Oh, what? Are you busy? Busy? We... Laugh, you? What do you mean am I having a laugh? I'm not, I don't laugh about anything. Come back off my holiday. Yeah, you made her come back from a birthday holiday yeah, we're so busy. to come to. Work. You bad child. Cal's gonna be working for us. Really? Yeah. Oh dear. Wait, so do you need me to help today? No, Cal's coming. <laughs> wow, you really jumped to that no, no. quite fast there. Uh, <laughs> Could have had a breath I between it. I want you to leave because you're just distracted. You want me to leave? Thanks for the news for sending out in random orders. Yeah, sure, okay. Say so thank you to everyone for ordering thank, thank thank on Valentine's Day. Thank you everyone for ordering on Valentine's Day. Can't wait to see you all repping. Make sure you take a... Thanks for ruining my birthday. No, she doesn't mean it. She kind of looked like she does. <laughs> um, yeah, hey, if you do get something, or you did get something for Valentine's Day, send us a picture of it. If you and your partner's got matching or something like that, send us pictures. I've just come out of the bathroom after realising we, we accommodate wheelchair access. So that's great. <laughs> I, I'd just like to say, I put on, that on there about 
three months ago and not yeah none of you noticed so i just was like i'll see how far we can get but uh, it's been brought to my attention that syndicate original is in dire need of um a new a new ironing board what is, what's been going on here this is probably what's, this is probably older than us this idea. Bloody oh sorry. Oh, we're gonna go and replace it right this second. I will replace it! <laughs> Maybe <laughs> just not this second, but uh, are we agreeing are we replacing that? Or no, not? we just come uh, back to Barber no. fucking Reese. What's Barberita? <laughs> exactly, it's Brabantia. <laughs> well, hey! Your sister is well, Syndicate original. Oh, you're so Brabantia. No, Mum, I think it's get, I think it's been voted as getting replaced. Right, I'm getting out of here. You, you can't stand me being here. I can't stand being in here. Greg Joe. Carlito. My man, how you doing? Hi, five. Are you excited for our, our... Should have brought you on it today. I've just been fitting a bio on my own. I can't come today. Well, I've been... no, I've, I've been... fucking finished it, you daft game. I'm not going to go fuck them up halfway through for me dinner, am I? No, but I've been busy. So have I. Yeah, all right. Right. What's wrong with you all? Bloody hell. What have you been busy doing? Go on. Been to the gym. Whoa, whoa, dead busy life. <laughs> Fucking up, calm down. Played a bit of RuneScape. <laughs> oh, hard life, oh. Um, it's been really nice to see you all. Um, but I was going to say, so I can't, I can't, I can't steal Nino and his van today. <laughs> no. Oh, I didn't even think. I didn't even think. What are no. you doing in the next twenty minutes? I, I'm eating my dinner and working for you. Or... He's working now. Yeah, mm. he's got to work. Oh, I'll give you five extra. Come with me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, back pocket, no, nope. left pocket, no, nope. right pocket, nope. deep left pocket, <laughs> right, right pocket. Come, 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 come. Can't do something about that. Why? Why? We've done hundred pound an hour. You fucking. I need you. I need you. I said for five. I need you for five minutes. Five minutes, twenty poundings. Oh. Oh, well. Can't get, can't get the staff. Can't get the family. <laughs> Just so strong now because I went to the gym this morning. <laughs> Busy blowing loads there, Cal. Oh. Guess I'll just leave the family be running the family business without the favourite son of you. Can't wait to get out of your mind, Mum. I'll try my best. It's 20 minutes to your bills for half I'll be there on time. Goodbye. See you later. How am I now on the hunt for a freaking ironing board? And what timing this is? A DPD man just turned up at the door. Brilliant.o Now. Time to see if I can pull off the ultimate DIY dartboard. I'ma need this. I totally forgot I need to remove that because I currently can't fold up my stairs until it's cut up. But that can wait. As you're getting measured, right, in my ideal world, I've said this a million times over, I think we have one piece of MDF, two pieces of MDF, and three pieces of MDF. And I simply devise a method to be able to hook them on up here. So whether we drill into this or whatever, that's fine. We could actually, Oh, we could actually hang it off that to be fair, because I think that's just like a, a false bit of ceiling. So that's absolutely fine. We could hang it on there and protect the wood. So then when we're throwing darts, Orion darts, I don't know what he threw there. Could have been a, a lighthouse for all I know. Um, it will actually hit the MDF pieces rather than this. And then you just unhook them and take them off. That's what I'm planning in theory. Will it work? I don't know. Let's find out. Right, I've got some measurements. I think I know what I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm not trying to overthink it. I'm just going to go for it, which I definitely shouldn't do in this scenario. But I think I just go down to the place where I'm going to buy the wood with a really good diagram of what I'm trying to do. Explain it to the guy behind the counter and see if he can best advise me to do anything different and how to actually hang the wood up on the wall. I would like to just do hooks so I can remove it easily, but... I'm just going to wing it and hope for the best. What could go wrong? Well, for a start, fitting it in that thing, I have the measurement of uh, 88 long, so I'm not quite sure this is going to be possible, but I'll be happily proven wrong. Are you ready? I think I can squeeze it there between my centre console up against the unit and the measurement's coming in at... Oh, dear. That's saying 78 right there. But if I went up on the dashboard, somehow, that is saying 88 on the dot. Do we risk it? <laughs> 
let's go find out. Oh, Nino's van's at the house next door. And I don't know how I've managed this, but I've somehow cut my finger quite badly. Listen, if I go and get the wood ready, just a five minute detour down, I had to pick these three pieces up. That's all I need. No, you can't, you can't all... do it. Oh, listen, she'll never know. We could probably do it you tomorrow. No, 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 it. today. We could probably do it tomorrow. Today. We've only got an hour left today. Yeah, I know, I know. I can do it tomorrow before I go to work. But what about if we did it today without telling her? I can do it tomorrow before I go to work. Now we should just not tell her and do it today. I can do it tomorrow before I go to work. <sighs> I tried to buy a van last year and Alice said no. She said we didn't need it. Buy a the, van, buy a van. The amount of times I've needed a van is ridiculous. Amanda, you want some business expense a van? I need a van. You need a van. I need a van. Oh, no, 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 I'm buying a van. As he drops away back to his defender on his drive. I will say, I'm being really honest about the conversation of having a van. I actually spoke to Alice last year saying, I want a van. And she was like, you don't need a van. I was like, no, think about the amount of times I'm transporting stuff left, right and centre. Or I have to ring Nino saying, can I borrow your van? Or ring my dad saying, can I borrow your, you know, your camper van to put stuff in. Whereas if I just had my own van, I'd be able to take care of it myself. It would be a massive problem solved. So to all the tradesmen out there, let me know a good van that I could fit a load of stuff in the back with. I could possibly put my motorbike in it for taking it to track days. And the most important factor of this entire thing is it cannot look like I'm about to hand out free candy in it. All right, let me know in the comments below. Okay, off we go to Illingworth and Ingham. I bet these guys are gonna think I'm a right pellet. But that's the joy of DIY. All right, in theory, they think it'll work, but they've told me to go next door and have a look at six mil and nine mil MDF. That, in theory, is what I'm trying to do. All right, we're going for this stuff here. I just don't know how I'm getting it home. Do you think it'll fit? No. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't raining, I'd have strapped it to the roof. Here we go, moment of truth. I don't mind nothing to like just tie the door open a bit or jamming it around. And don't worry, I'm not precious about the interior or anything. Just leave your door open, it'll be right. Yeah. It's all right, well. Do you reckon I could, if I went up over to like towards the glass without hopefully smashing it. Yeah. What do you reckon? How much more space am I gonna gain there? Uh, yeah, not that much, eh? Damn. Tie it down and tie the door back. Yeah. Okay, let's get it bought. This is about to be a 56 pound 40 mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and out of this board, we'll get two of them. Yes. Sweet. All right. This is my creation coming together. <laughs> It'll work. It will work. I like how you said moment of truth, but we know it won't fit. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to make it fit. <laughs> what What could possibly go wrong here? Oh, there you go, mate. Sorry, it was I'm just locked. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's REIT, it's totally REIT. Where do you get this kind of surface? <laughs> this is brilliant. All right, wish me luck, boys. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just can't give those guys enough credit for helping me. Like I walked in with such a stupid idea and they were really, really helpful. Um, right, we've made it to the house. Let's get these sheets inside and see if I'm a flunker. You know, we already know the answer to that one, and it's uh, definitely yes. Now, there has been a bit of a casualty from this lock here grinding against this board, but it's absolutely fine because I can just use the opposite side. And I am planning on decorating these things. I'm not just going to hang them up in their wooden state. Oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking of painting them. And I was like, nah, I can do better than that. So I've got a bit of a plan. First and foremost, let's get them inside and see if they're the right size. Oh. You know what's good about them? They're really, really not that heavy. So for like hanging them up like I'm intending on doing, they're absolutely perfect. Look at that, two at once, because my name's Tom and I go to a gym now. Moment of truth time. Have I completely messed up or am I a genius? I think if we place these down, give them a bit of a shuffle around, we're about to find out. Are you ready? And voila, look at that. Oh, it's, per it's perfect. Exactly what I wanted and what I imagined. We just need to decorate it, work out how we're gonna mount it and then get the dartboard put in the center. Maybe we could do with a mat of some sort to go along here. So when you throw your darts, they miss and land on the floor. It's not just gonna take chips out the tiles. Even though in the last two weeks I did this and this, it's better to protect it than to pummel it with darts. But look at that. 
I'm, on, I'm absolutely so stuck. Like, from people being like, no, I can't help you with this. No, I can't pick up the wood. Like, I've asked so many people to try and help me with it. And instead, I was like, bollocks to it. I'm going to go do it myself. And we did it. Shout out to the boys at Illingworth, Illingworth and Ingham. I always got that name wrong. Absolutely sound as anything. And if the bosses are watching, they deserve a raise. Now. How am I going to decorate it, you may ask? Well, I'm going to bring something back I lost because of you, and that is a feature wall that I used to have in my old streaming gaming room. If we put a picture on the screen now, this is something that Lydia put together as a surprise for the backdrop of my streams, and it looks so good, and I absolutely love it. It's my favourite book called Steal Like an Artist, and it's all about like being creative and not being put off doing something because it's been done before. Like, think about it, like, uh, you know, someone wants to make a shooting video game, but, oh, they already exist, so I'm never gonna do it. And it's all about the evolution of taking something that may have been done before, but doing it better or in your own style, your own way. And it's it just, it's mint, it's dead inspiring, and I've read it loads of times. So I'm thinking we bring it back and we do it in style. The whole wall as a backdrop covered in that book. And qua blimey, are we gonna need a lot of books? So let's get upstairs and get them ordered. Oof, it isn't a cheap wallpaper, considering I need six, but at least I can get them tomorrow. Thank you, Prime. And now I'm in panic stations because it's currently, ooh, 12 minutes to six. We're all going out for dinner at half past six and I am nowhere near ready. Well, at least you've got the candles. And as if by magic, I've changed. Next stop, New Mills. Ooh. A Tavlova, a Sicilian restaurant. Wow, you have to ring the doorbell to enter and look at this. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. You okay? Whoa, this is amazing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to ring a doorbell to get in. What? This is amazing. Are we the first ones here? No. Oh, this is very nice. And hey, how happy are you? <laughs> very. Oh, this is lovely. So we're actually here celebrating my mum's birthday because she went off with Nino on her birthday day. So we didn't actually get to have dinner with her. But we're also celebrating the fact that it's their anniversary as well. So we've got them both a card. Oh, I really like this place. Look at the decorations and stuff. Hey, are you enjoying yourself down there? Are you enjoying yourself down there? Big ears. And look who's arrived. Oh, hello. You look lovely, mum. You look so nice. Very, very grease lightning. Like it? Yeah. You don't think so? Leather jacket? Sandy. Sandy. And look at this little chap. Oh, you're matching your dad. Oh, <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream. Look at this. At the Sicilian. With the Sicilian. <laughs> Have you gone for a dessert to start? Ooh, what is it? It's delicious. Really? Oh, when in not so Rome. Shea Papa. Papa. That's good. <laughs> I could just hear your dad going shape a par in the background and he's very To family. To family. Cheers. This menu looks good. Specifically this thing. Look at this. Veal with Parma ham. Oh I shouldn't, but it also could. Guys, I need your attention. Can I can I have everyone's attention around the room, Lydia? Can you pan to everyone? You know, you specifically. You've now been in the family for a year, so I think it's only fitting that I finally. Look at Nino's face. I, I finally. It's been going on about this for ages. This week, I Follow you back on Instagram. I think you're here to stay now, so there you go. And shout out to someone called Andy Andy on Instagram who went, Is you that thankful for Nino in your life? Following back. <laughs> My bruschetta has arrived and it is mm. very good. My main course has arrived. Lamb chops, mushrooms, spinach. Lydia's looks amazing. Mum's looks amazing. Mine's not arrived. Nino's hasn't arrived. Oops. Looking very good. And look at this little guy. Just eating away. Oh, and little dude is fast asleep. Dilly dilly. <laughs> Nino, cheers. <laughs> He's finally got his food. And oh, I'm so excited to start, try this. Lamb chops. Ow, ow, ow. Turns out that was an entire piece of bone. Oh my God, I nearly exploded my teeth. 
Take two. Dinner out of ten. Seven point nine. 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 Yeah. Eight, eight point five. Nine. I'm gonna go eight point two. Eight point two. No, eight point two. It was really good. The only reason I'm being critical is because we're like ah. <coughs> into a lamb chop and I did not see that bone like I, I thought I cut around the bone it's definitely my fault but no the food was incredible it was really good highly recommend who's having dessert oh just Lydia just Lydia's having dessert okay mum says no but little does she know <laughs> happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to mum! Happy birthday to you! Hip hip! 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 Hip
it's a good little challenge and I think it will really benefit like my core and upper body and that's something that I've been really trying to focus on. So doing the gym two times a week and then also fitting that in every weekday for the next 30 days. We'll see how things go. Rah! The Simba challenge. <laughs> You're trying the triple threat challenge. Three. Go, go all the way down. <laughs> I can't move my arms too right, Yeah, just do five then. Five. And now you've got to do five sit-ups. Oh, I could do more sit-ups than that. Oh, no, well, all right. Ten sit-ups. Okay. To be fair, Lydia can do sit-ups to like the hundred. She's ridiculous. I actually don't know if I can anymore, to be fair. Babe, you have had a baby. Two. Let's do just do five then. Three. Yep. Four. Yep. Bad. Used to be. Go on, build that core back. Five. Right, now 30 second plank. And you're on. Got the timer going. Don't you know, pump it up. You've got to pump it up. Lower your back a little bit. Keep yourself more straight. Straighten your arms out. Like, like pointing up. Yep. Lower your back a bit so you're a bit more straighter. A bit lower. Keep your, uh, push yourself up with your oh elbows. My God, you're gonna make me fall no, no, uh, uh, pause. you got 10 seconds left. No. You're trying to do your body straight. I, I yeah, obviously feel straight to me. And that's what I'm telling you. So put all, all the way up on your arms, yep. Lower your bum a little bit. There you go, now you're straight. Now keep straighten your hands, arms up. Oh, okay. No, uh, I want right five now? more seconds. Okay. Five more seconds. There you yeah, that's better, that's better. Five, four, four, three, three, yeah. two, <laughs> one. Well done, there you go. Right, now you've got to do that three times. No, you got to do that whole. You got to do that whole thing three times I'll, after I'll after a minute up. of rest. I'll build up to it. There you go. There's day one. Thank you. Once a day for thirty days. There you go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Who's a dribbly chat 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 dribbly dribbly chat 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 dribbly dribbly chat 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 chat. Oh, I love my little dude, but I love that I'm an idiot and I actually gave myself carpet burn. Look at my look at my elbow. I gave myself carpet burn from like just, yeah, planking, just slowly rotating a few times for three minutes straight. Oh Ouch. Now we're out here the next day outside the hospital. And no, not because I gave myself carpet burns, but instead because little Alfredo has got to go to the doctors to get his injections. Look at him, he's like, I do not want the gun you can you make me. But he does look adorable whilst doing so. But guys, this is indeed the end of the vlog. England is just miserable and I am not about it. I uh, put out a post on my Instagram the other day saying, guys, if there's one thing you'd like to see me do in the vlog, like to spice things up and do something a bit different, what would you like me to do? And the number one consensus thing is go on an adventure. So little Alfredo, I think we're going to have to get something booked in and go somewhere. But where do you want to go? Where do you want to see? What do you want to do? Leave a comment down below where you think we should go, what do you think we should do, and what you think we should see. And you never know, we might just do it. But guys, thank you for watching our lives as we share it every weekday for your faces at 7pm on the dot-ish. So until next time, we're loving you, we'll leave you, and always, it's adios.